to Butterfly Dreams Crochet and More. My name is Jeannie, and it's Monday, y'all. And today, y'all gonna get a quick tutorial. And I mean quick, because it takes a little of no time to make these at all. I got inspired by this from my trip to Hobby Lobby on Saturday. Um, I went in there to see if they had some of the <clears throat> bigger styrofoam pumpkin forms. They did, but I wasn't paying the price for them. So, now, what I saw, and I was like, oh, I can make that. I got the rings, I got the yarn, and I definitely got the flowers. It's a napkin ring. And I've made a couple just to have here to show you. And I got the picture pulled up on my phone to show you what it looks like from Hobby Lobby. And I really like that. It's very simple and easy to make. Now what you're going to need to make that, of course, is a ring. Now this is what I saw in the store that inspired me. And I'm like, oh, I can make those. Gotcha. You know, so <clears throat> you'll need a ring. And I'll put the link. I did get these off of Amazon. I've had them for a while. And I'm like, oh, that's the perfect thing that I can make with those. And these are two inches in diameter. And the center is about one and three quarter inches. So it's the perfect, perfect size for a napkin ring. Now you will need some hot glue. I'm using cotton yarn to go around them with. 4 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a darning needle, and of course a flower of your choice. And I'm going to be using this one. The yarn I'm going to use is Crafter Secret Cotton and the color is taupe. Got the idea from Hobby Lobby and using Hobby Lobby yarn. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do is make a slip stitch with our yarn. Grab our ring, and I'm going to make sure my tail is to my left, and we're going to work a single crochet. And we're going to work 36 single crochets around this ring, two, and that is it, 36 single crochets around this ring. And I do like to crochet over my tail. That's why I make sure it's laid to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's eight. So how has y'all's weekend been? Mine was very, very busy. We had the funeral Saturday. Everything was really, really good. I cooked a big pan of spaghetti and macaroni and cheese Friday and took over to the family. And then after the funeral, my husband and I went to Prattville. He went to Harbor Freight. I went to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> and he kept asking me, is there anywhere else you wanted to go? And I said, no. I had to get some navy blue yarn. I did not have any navy blue in my stash at all. And that was very weird that I did not have any navy blue at all. Alright, I'm just going to count and see how many I got. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 8, 22, I got 32, so I need to do four more. And we're going to do one, two, three, and four. And we're going to join with a slip stitch to the very first one, chain one, and cut your tail to weave in. Pull that yarn up and I'm going to show you what I did 
I pulled that a little tight because we crocheted over it. And I'm just going to cut it. And I am going to weave this in by going back and forth two stitches to the right, come back to that one, go under where I slip stitched, and come two stitches to the right. I said right for my left, I'm sorry. <laughs> you want to go two stitches to your left and two stitches to your right, and come back. And the reason why is it's going to make where we're going to put the flower stiff. Y'all, I sat back here yesterday and I did the tutorial for the uh, pumpkin, the new design pumpkin that you can use for the styrofoam form or polyfill. And when I went to save it, after I processed it, edited it, and put all my little you know, what you do each row on the video. It's something I need to clean up some space. And my computer jumped when I was deleting out old videos. And I ended up deleting two of those videos because I was piecing it together. So I got to redo. Not all of it. Some I, I still have some, but I do got to remove parts of it. So you see how that kind of builds that up there a little bit. It kind of makes it like a little hump. Perfect. Now what you want to do is get your pliers and cut that right at the base of that flower. Just like that. And I also cut that part off as well. And make it as flat as I can get it. If I can grip it with these pliers wire cutters I do okay now the thing about it is this will come apart so what I'm gonna do is glue that part down first hopefully my glue gun is hot enough already so I'm gonna redo that I gotta redo the beginning up to row 15 and then 16 and on out is already done. So, you put that like that. And we're going to stick that right there. Just like so. And it does not take a lot of glue at all. Alright. Now I'm going to hold that down. And I'm going to remove that part. And I am going to put glue around here. And then I'm going to put it back together and that will be secure and this is completely maneuverable and that's why I like weaving in my ends like that because it gives you the ability to um, lay it like that or you can have it up like that whichever way you want it on your napkin so well I have it backwards of course Jeannie has it backwards so, see, I can have it on my table and have it up like that, or I can have it straight up like that or like that. <clears throat> so, I've got to redo rows 1 through six, one through 15 of the pumpkin um, for y'all, which I will get that done and then piece those together um, and get it out, hopefully, if not today, tomorrow. So, thank y'all for watching. Let me know what y'all think about these. They're real quick, easy to make. Um, I'm going to be making some to take to the, to the market. Um, I'm undecided if I'm going to do six to, or eight as a set. Because, you know, some people have big, long tables that sit eight, twelve people. But I know the normal is four. But my table sits six. So, I'm going to at least do six per set. 
But y'all let me know what y'all think. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Until then, be kind, be sweet. Remember to smile. Love you all. Remember, hook in one hand, yarn in the other, and crochet all day. Bye for now.